it's undeniable right now, as Masai Ujiri has taken some criticism in recent years for decisions he's made to hold on to people a little bit too long, you know, a couple of misses in the NBA draft, but it's official. This man is all the way back, at least in the scouting department for this Toronto Raptors team, because with Four selections, four draft, well, not even selections, four players coming into this squad as rookies this season. Each and every single one of them are looking like steals in their own right. So we're going to discuss what Masai Ujiri's done, what Darko Ryakovich is currently saying about this current batch of young players, specifically Jamison Battle, and frankly, why I am very, very excited about what's happening with this team. Because again, this core, this Raptor squad was built on the Fred Van Vliet's, the Pascal Siakams, the Norman Powell's, these guys that were drafted with later round picks and things like that, and then developed into really crucial pieces on a championship team. And we're seeing the seeds of that getting planted right now for this Raptor squad. So lots of stuff to dive into in this video but before we do folks we have an exciting announcement is this video is brought to you by rentals.ca who are proud supporters of team canada and while they've been supporting our national team defend their home court and in international competition they've also been helping thousands of canadians find their home floor all across the country whether in toronto vancouver montreal calgary halifax winnipeg mississauga edmonton victoria st john's from coast to coast rentals.ca have a ton of options for you to find the perfect place and price for you their website's clean, it's easy to use, and you can pinpoint exactly on the map where you're looking to move, and you can find all of the options in your area. So find your home court with Rentals.ca, and shout out to Rentals.ca for supporting our national team, for supporting the channel, but most importantly, supporting you guys in uh, finding your next home court across the country. Check out their link. It's in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment. And I mean, like, check out Rentals.ca. They've been big supporters of us for a super long time, and they're just an awesome part that we have and you know helps you guys you know find your next spot so shout out to rentals.ca but let's dive into the news let's dive into what's going on because again it's it's we've been talking about this a ton in uh you know the post games the the reactions and all that but masai ujiri has done a really really good job you know bringing in the right types of players out there with these later round picks right our earliest pick in last year's NBA draft in a down draft uh which objectively it seems like it is. You know, there isn't a lot of top end crazy talent out there from the short stints we've seen of these guys out there in the NBA. But in a not loaded draft with a few late round picks, Masai Ujiri has just pulled off some gems. I mean, in the second round, he ended up pulling off Jamal Shedd, who, again, is requires some development. The jump shot's coming along, but his defense, his grit, his toughness has just been something to marvel at. You know, Jonathan Mobo, a guy that really is showing flashes of Draymond Green potential with his facilitating, with his passing, obviously athleticism, size, and defense, right? He's been phenomenal. And, you know, we'll talk about Jacoby Walter as well, the 19th overall selection. You know, not a lot of sample size there for Jacoby, but we did get to see him play, you know, as a starter in his first start of the NBA. And then had 14 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, returning from injury too, so 2 steals. So Jacoby Walter's been really, really solid. But the guy that I really want to sort of lean into, right, because the undrafted dudes that really you know, had people excited about what uh what were happening with this team, you know, in terms of the Fred Van Vliet stories and these types of guys. But man, Jamison Battle is the dude that is the biggest real I want to call steal. I want to call just smart big brain move by Masai Ujiri because there were a lot of opportunities for you know Masai Ujiri to kind of not part ways with Jamison Battle, but he had to make multiple big decisions and evaluate the talent and saw what we saw in Jameson Battle and, you know, brought him in. And we'll start off basically how the coaching staff feels about it because Dark Ryakovich came out and said directly that I really like the effort that he's putting in, referring to da Jameson Battle day in, day out. Every time I talk to him, his eyes are wide open. He's focused, he's listening, and he's really trying everything that we are uh, we are coaching and teaching to go out there on the court and do it. It's uh, Is that defensive positioning? Is that how to avoid screens is that boxing out, whatever it might be, he's focused on making strides and do a good job, right? So I think we've got something really special in him. Now, the vision was there. It was clear from the jump, from Summer League, right? Because the story of Jamison Battle is crazy interesting. He was brought in on the Summer League squad and uh, kind of as a no-namer, wasn't hyped up, wasn't someone everyone was like, oh, Jamison Battle, what an interesting pickup. I didn't, I had no clue who he was when he came into the Summer League, and that was the case for a lot of Toronto Raptors fans. He was coming off the bench for the Summer League team, but came in and just was knocking down threes at a very high clip, and just proved himself as an NBA-level shooter. So, again, it's very rare that you get unknowns out there in your Summer League team to, you know, get a proper shot, get a proper chance at camp, but Masai Jury said, hey, 
pretty early on in the summer league. That's a guy that we want out at least out here in the training camp. So brought him in on exhibit 10, said, hey, Jameson Battle, you get to run training camp preseason. We'll probably have you with the 905. That's the reality of what's going on. And, you know, obviously a few summer league games aren't an indication of anything big. So that's the right move. You know, giving him a contract would be crazy foresight. But, you know, bring him in on exhibit 10 contract. But then over the course of preseason, everything we heard on the training, Jameson Battle just was really, really effective for this team. In preseason, he was coming out, hitting shots, doing different things. And the Raptors essentially had their their squad picked, you know, going into trade again. James Abel was expected to be a 905-er. Bruno Fernando was expected to get that final roster spot. And basically, we had our two ways already signed after the NBA draft. Brandon Carlson, DJ Carton, as well as Oliver Champche, who's obviously the big development project for this team. So there wasn't really a clear hole, a clear opening for uh, uh for James Battle here now at this point. But Masai Ujiri took the, the big... I don't want to say risk, but cut Brandon Carlson, and you know he ended up getting scooped up right away. I think Carlson is really good, so uh, you know it sucks that he had to go, but he made the right decision and bringing in James in battle, right, giving him the two way spot, letting him still bounce around, and develop, and now. What we're seeing from him out there on the court is just a pleasure to behold. I mean, you know, again, it's he's had a bunch of games where he's coming late in the game, so the points per game aren't crazy high, but still, six points per game, two rebounds, one assist, you know, solid out there on the defensive end, but at just 23 years old, he's shooting 43% out there from the three-point line, and this is, again, in limited run, limited opportunities, and he is just coming out with extreme confidence every time he steps out there on the court. And again, in the most recent game, right, I already highlighted it for Jacoby Walter, but, you know, Jameson Battle with extended run with extended minutes went 9 of 11 from the field, you know, 24 points, three assists, and again, we know he could shoot, but he is doing so many different things out there on the basketball court, and he's just been really, really effective in terms of growing. Like, he is not, you know, early on, like the first five games of the season when he did get out there, get opportunities. I was saying, it's it's a shame how the refs are treating him. He's treating him like a rookie because, again, he was getting foul call after foul call after foul call, and you could tell the effort was there. He was trying, but now... Again, it takes a while in the NBA to build up that savvy presence to, you know, defend without fouling, to be aggressive without, you know, be intense, but without, you know, being all over the place, getting those rookie calls, build up that reputation. He's starting to build that up right now, you know, on the eye test. He's doing better on the defensive end. I'm just really, really impressed with Jamison Battle and the what Darker Ray Alker just said about him. But again, I could, I could rave about every single one of these rookies. Like Jacoby Walter, again, I just... He has dealt with so much adversity coming into this NBA season. Missing training camp as a rookie is a huge, huge blow. You have multiple injuries, multiple times in and out of the lineup. And then to return from injury, have the game that he had, you know, the 19th overall selection in, a, you know, a bad NBA draft. He is looking like a guy that can be a gem for this team. And then obviously, you know, I feel like Mobo and Shed are the two guys that I've been talking about the most, you know, over the course of the season. You know, the, the Shed heads, one of my favorite animations. Like, I love both of those guys at, at a very, very high level. So, Regardless of what's going on with this team, because you know, a lot of people are trying to push to capture the flag, you know, get into that direction with the young guys to build up more young talent. But the Raptors, they just find a way. And this is why, you know, we never really had to take before. Because Masai Ujiri is just able to find these gems in the late round selections. But, you know, you had a couple misses there with guys like Malachi Flynn trading away some draft picks. So the young core just really didn't develop the way it probably should have. But now, you know, with uh, some gems like the guys we kind of discussed in this video, obviously other guys like Ochai Apaji coming in for like a late first round pick. I am very, very excited and very, very happy with what's going on with this Toronto Raptors team. It's it's undeniable now. Masai Ujiri is all the way back in regards to his ability to scout and bring in late picks and uh, young guys to really build up a strong core team so let me know what you guys think about the young guys out there on this raptor squad you guys have best thing as far subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already apologies if i sounded weird my voice is cooked but uh you know it's you guys are the best i've signed it out cheers